hey guys welcome back to my channel um thank you so much to all my new subscribers i see you guys um i got some really nice responses from my last video so i promise i'll try and be more consistent and yeah anyways as you can see by the title of today's video it is a story time <laughs> but it's not such a nice story guys it's a story about how i got scammed okay i got scammed um two years ago on gumtree so if you're interested in knowing what ha happened then please keep on watching do subscribe to the channel like this video comment down below and yeah if you're interested keep on watching so what happened um oh it was in 2018 right so okay so let me just go a little bit back so i got my okay it was my iphone it was my iphone 7 so what happened is i bought it in 2017 right i bought it in thailand and i bought it at the mall everything it was an authorized apple seller but the lady obviously there was some sort of language barrier so when the iphone 7 came out it was obviously the 7 and then the 7 plus i don't like big phones right so i asked the lady what's the difference between the two phones she's like no nothing much it's just the um the, the plus is just a bigger phone of the seven so i went with the seven right and then i only realized like months later that no man i don't have portrait mode you know like all the other phones have so i was like okay i wasn't entirely happy with it but i loved that phone it was cute it was new it was in rose gold so whatever so fast forward to 2018 the iphone x comes out and then i was like no i'm not gonna get it you know i was really trying to resist the urge of you know always chasing the latest phone i was like no i'm not gonna get that phone um i'm fine with my iphone 7 and then it came out with portrait mode so i was like oh no actually i need this phone so i got it and then um so obviously i decided to sell my iphone 7 because i've just never been the kind of person to have two phones i don't like having two phones like one of them will get lost so i've never had two phones i don't like having two phones i don't see a need for me to have two phones so i always um sell or give my older phone to someone else so i was like okay so it was very new it was like 10 months old i was like there's no way i'm giving it away i need to sell it and um i was gonna give the money to my mom because she had bought me the iphone x so i was like okay i'm gonna sell this phone and i'm gonna give all the money to my mom fine <laughs> so i go on gamchi now guys at this stage i did not know gamchi was so correct okay so i go on gumtree and i obviously like i take a picture of my like of the phone and the box and everything and i post the ad guys within like two minutes okay my phone was blowing up like people were calling everyone is trying to buy this phone because i was selling it for 6.5 which is i mean it was quite a low price for a 10 month old phone um so uh, so okay guys like my phone is blowing up blowing up blowing up everyone is calling so now I'm just like, yo guys, what the hell is happening? So fine, obviously, like, obviously amongst all of the, the buyers, or all the people that are that are answering, I mean, out of all of the buyers and the people that are calling, uh, that are calling you, you can, you can kind of like suss out by now, you know, who's, who's really going to buy the phone or not. So this one guy really stood out for me. <laughs> His name was Isaac. And he was just like, you know, on my ass about this phone. He was like, what are your banking details? I want to get it now. I want to sell it. I mean, I want to buy it now. I'm going to pay now. Everything. And I was just like, okay, you know, so quick. So I, I gave my mom's banking details because, I mean, the money was going to go to my mom anyways. So I gave my mom's details. And then, like, oh, and I was at work this entire time that this is happening. So my mom is at home and I was at work when this is happening. So I... I so he calls me and then I like we chat by SMS and I send him the banking details. He sends he sends my mom the money immediately. And then um my mom sends me like a screenshot of the SMS. Um there was even an email that was like with the net bank watermark and all of that, like everything looked real, right? Um so so yeah, okay, we were like, Okay, cool, he's paid, right? So he sends the money. Get she gets the SMS, everything. So I'm at work. And the phone is at home because I didn't obviously I didn't expect for things to go to happen so fast. So I did um oh I had logged out of my Apple ID because I knew I was selling it, but I hadn't deleted my apps or anything like that. Like so I wasn't really ready or really prepared to sell that phone in that instance. But he was like, Please, it's my daughter's birthday tonight. Can I get the phone? So I was like, Okay, cool. So after my mom sends me the SMS that you know he sent the money and everything, fine. So then he um he asked if he can pick up the phone so i'm at work and i'm like okay 
I was very skeptical, but I mean, the man had paid. So I, I, I sent him my address, guys. I sent him my address, and he went to my house. Well, he sent his driver to go to our house. And yeah, he went, um, so he went there, and I called my mom, and I told my mom, Mom, um, this guy's driver is going to come and pick up the phone. Please do give it to him, because, I mean, he's obviously paid. So she gives it to him with the box and everything. That's fine. Cool. He calls me back, guys. Such a nice guy. Like, both of them were very nice, the driver and the person, the guy I was dealing with. He calls me back. He's like, thank you so much. I've got the phone. My daughter's going to love this. I'm driving to Joburg tonight, whatever, whatever. And obviously, I'm also chuffed, you know. Everyone's happy. My mom's happy. I'm happy. He, They're happy. His daughter's going to be happy. Everything's cool. Fine, guys. The next day, I don't know what happens, um, but, like, I'm just chilling. And then the driver calls me. Now, the, the guy I was dealing with his, his name is Isaac and the driver's name is Tony so Tony starts calling me the driver and Tony's like um why didn't you why didn't you guys what did he say I don't like being messed around with why didn't you guys pay me apparently you guys were supposed to pay me to pick up the phone not the guy that not Isaac so Tony was basically saying that you guys haven't paid me for my driving or delivery whatever the service is for me picking up um the phone i haven't been paid for that i don't like being messed with you know why didn't you guys pay me um isaac tells me you guys were supposed to pay me for the pickup for the phone so i'm like uh-uh that's not how it works like you take that up with isaac okay like i got much money he got the phone <laughs> so i've got no business with you like basically take it up with isaac and leave me alone I said that so boldly so that so i leave my room after i get this call and i go like I like I'm casually telling mom, so I'm like, she mama, yes, oh, oh, Tony called me, and he's like, he didn't get paid, and, and, and. so as I'm telling her, I'm busy telling her the story, and guys, randomly, just something just dawns on me, like something just, it's like a message was laid in my heart, that girl, like, you are you, you're the one that's being troubled here, like, Tony's not the one being troubled, you're the one being troubled. So as I'm telling her, I'm like, uh -uh, man, uh -uh. like something's up here. Like clarity is clear to see. There was just this, I just had this very unsettling, uneasy feeling. And then I was just like, uh -uh, man, guys, <laughs> no, 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 no. Someone is the idiot here. And it looks like it's me. So immediately I go, I go to the home phone and I call up Tony and I'm like, Tony, bring back my phone now. Like, I just had this bad feeling, guys. I was like, bring back my phone now. I know that you and Isaac are working together. And my dad was also like, no, man, what if these guys are actually working together? And you're the one that's being, you know, you're the one that's, that's the idiot here. So I, ca I call it, and I'm like, Tony, bring back my phone now. Like, bring it back now. And I don't want to hear it. If you don't bring back my phone, all hell will break loose. Just bring back my phone. I don't care what, bring it back. I don't know who the hell I thought I was, but that's what I told him. And then he was like, no, but I haven't been paid and I'm, I'm, I'm about to put off for now. If you want your phone, he wanted me 800 bucks for petrol and I'll drive back to East London and give you my phone. So obviously I'm like, Psh, nigga, please, 800 rand. Port Alfred is about 200 k's away you definitely don't need it you don't need 800 rand petrol and i mean obviously these guys had already scammed me they were trying to get more money from me there's absolutely no i'm sending anyone money at this point so i'm like dude i'm not sending you 800 bucks just bring back my phone i know you're not even in port of you probably here in like southern or something bring me back my phone so obviously i don't know he tells whatever story he has so my dad's like just hang up and let's let's go to the cops so um i hang up but firstly um we go to the bank so it's it's me and my mom and my dad and then we go to the bank because now my mom needs to get a statement from the atm to check if did the did the money come in or not because she got the sms she got the email everything was fine but i mean now that we just made this realization now that clarity is clear to see <laughs> we need to go check so we go and so we go to the to absa and she goes to the atm and she draws a statement Guys, my mom came out of that ATM two-stepping, like, she looked dizzy, like, when she realized that, ah, man, uh-uh, I'm not 6,500 rand richer here, like, there's nothing that, the money never touched my account, 
because at least with the statement you can see if it comes in and if it comes out again it never it was never there to begin with so she comes out guys she's two-stepping i'm just like mm. me and my dad are in the car and we're like yeah <laughs> we can see by the way that she's walking that the money never ever came in so um she comes she shows us the statement the six thousand five hundred was never ever at any point deposited into her account um the money was just never there so we we keep the statement and straight after that um we go to the police station so i get to the police station and then i go in there obviously i'm panicking um and i want help so <laughs> oh guys saps saps guys saps girl saps girl do better do better saps guys all they could tell me was so I, I get there obviously i state my case i tell them what's good this guy's like yo ma'am you know what um yesterday there's a doctor that came here he got scammed a hundred thousand rand um on the internet he put in his banking details for something and these guys like scammed him of a hundred thousand rand from his credit card only yesterday like you know so your situation um so he told me about that doctor and then he told me that and this morning because i think the time it was like 11 now 11 12 but he was like only this morning um this other man came in here with the same phone as yours it was this phone which is um which was the iphone x and he's like um he had that phone and he just got mugged at the beach while taking a morning walk there down by bonza so yeah like yes sister. basically you know there's some more stories out there than yours and someone just got scammed 100k and someone just got mugged of the iphone x so yeah your situation so essentially that's what he was saying he was like you know we're really sorry but <laughs> you know yesterday this guy came today it was this guy but what we can do is he said i can um what give a statement and then he'll give me a case number and I was just like, you know what, what I'm not going to do is deal with saps. Um, I'm not going to deal with saps for what months on end to not even get my phone back. But I'm back and forth from the police station. So I was like, you know what, whatever, the phone is never going to come back. Obviously, um, Isaac and Tony are not going to give me my phone back because they are professional scammers. I had realized that at this point um in time so i was like freaking out i was like no dude i'm not going to be opening cases and taking statements just do something now so he's like okay give me the guy's numbers so he calls tony and tony still maintains that he's in port alfred he can't drive back because he doesn't have petrol and he needs to be sent 800 rand for petrol and um this cop was like trying to be assertive like listen here no one's sending you money you better bring back this lady's phone now. You know where she stays. Bring it back now. And then the scammers were so tired at that point. They literally said, good luck. He said, good luck. And then he hung up in in the policeman's ear. And then the cop was also like, yo, sister, like, it is what it is. Like, he literally said, he just hung up. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Um, You can either trace the phone. And I'm just like, oh, why would I go? Why would I even go there without cops? Like, I'm not going to go end up at some trap house trying to find my phone without the cops. So he's like, you can either just chase it um, or just open the case. So I was like, no, you know what? Just leave the whole thing. Let it go. It is what it is. And I'll take this out and I'll be better next time. So yeah, I just let it go. I got home. I just did my makeup. I had plans with my friends. We went to Highlander later. And I was like, I'm going to get drunk and forget this whole situation. And that's exactly what I did my word and then so as i'm at like now i'm back home and i'm doing my makeup getting ready to go out and then i get an email on my phone and it's from isaac something at gmail um no isaac four three something 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 at gmail like you know those twitter accounts with numbers long like you know those fake accounts it was like a fake email and he sent me um his id look his fake id i mean i just come from the cops so why are you gonna send me a real id so he sent me um a picture of um an id like the green book that part with the name the surname the the date of birth that whole shebang and guys let me tell you how fake that picture was honey it looks like 
this other meme on twitter i'm gonna try and attach it for you guys if i can find it that that guy looked so american and this isaac that i had been dealing with is definitely a foreign guy like i could hear it on the phone i mean i could tell that okay he is from like nigeria or ghana or whatever i don't know but he's definitely not south african because he had a strong accent so when he sent me that id with that american guy as the picture i was like Phew. such a good quality picture i was just like oh my god no he is this guy thinks I'm stupid. Like, am I supposed to go to the cops now with this fake um, ID and be like, oh, guys, here's the guy that stole my phone. No worries. I just deleted that email immediately and all of that stuff. So that's exactly what I did because um, my apps were still on that phone. So I just changed all my, I changed all of my passwords. But now, but I'd already locked out of my Apple ID. But now I was freaking out because my banking app was still on there and i mean you can't go on i can't go onto my banking app without um my uh, well on the iphone 7 i was using my fingerprints but still because i was so scared that i got in scam now i went to the bank and i just tried to change like my profile number and um all those kind of security things and when i got to the bank and when i told the teller everyone there seems to know what was up with country they were all like girl We've been you like Gumtree and OLX, like you gotta stay away from them. Like everyone there was like, yeah, we have a lot of clients that come in here and um always try to reverse payments that they've made because the person didn't deliver the goods or whatever. So apparently Gumtree and OLX are big red flags, do not shop there. So I mean if you're going to okay, uh, let me just try to tell you some of the tricks that these scammers will try firstly they will definitely send you a fake proof of payment so just be aware of that so if you are gonna buy from them which i highly recommend you do not after this video but if you still do buy from gumtree or try to sell something on gumtree just be aware of the fact that they do send fake proof of payments so just wait a little bit like 48 hours or so if you can chance if you've got another account transfer the money to another account just to make sure that this money is really yours and then go and make your purchase or go and give that person your item Two guys you gotta be very careful for your safety honey like i remember after that i was so traumatized for like two weeks i was so scared especially when i come home at night because i mean these are they're obviously criminals they're professional scammers and i mean if they knew that they could so easily scam us i mean I thought, what if they come back? Because, I mean, you don't know what's going through a criminal's mind, you know. So, I was very scared for, like, two weeks after that. I'd be like, oh, my word. I'd get so scared that what if, you know, they come back and, you know, they try to, like, break in or try some other shit, you know. But, luckily, they didn't do that. So, I mean, obviously, after I got scammed, I looked deeper into this country and OLX thing, guys. And it's really bad. Like, I was reading some stories where people would... Um, sometimes, okay, since I was the one selling, sometimes they, you, they would be the ones that are buying. They would send the money and then the person doesn't purchase the item. Like if you buy a TV, you send person, the person like 8K or whatever it is for the TV and then he doesn't purchase the TV. So just be very careful of things like that. Also just be very careful for your safety. All, obviously all is made up in a public place. Um, you don't want to get led on. You don't want to be in a situation where someone is sending you their location and then it, and then you know you just put you know when you just put in your gps you follow it gandhi you end up in the middle of nowhere and these people take your phone and your wallet and your car on top of that so just be very careful gumtree and olx are filled with criminals another thing you must do is to go on hello peter before you buy in any company that you're not sure of, always just check out the reviews hello peter is like this website where i actually only discovered it this year where you um it's like a reviews company literally it's just a bunch of reviews if you're not sure on this business or this person you go and you search them on hello peter and you'll get some honest reviews so when i searched country there i was like girl country you guys really need to do something about these scammers like screen your clients or something like it's really bad guys like everyone was like almost everyone had a bad situation so i mean i would just stay away from country and olx um as a whole but i mean if you wanna if you wanna use them, just be super super careful, okay? So yeah guys, that is my story. I uh, guys, I mean I was so touched for the longest time. I was so touched. And then I remember um so that happened in was it July? And then like a month later, <laughs> hey guys, a month later in August, I get an email um from I don't know if it's from Apple or what or Apple ID, I don't know. But I get an, I got an email and it said um 
a, phone, a song has been played off your iPhone 7 in Ghana and then it's like at 1.23 a.m. like this song was played off your phone and I was just like guys like why are you reopening this wound like my phone is in Ghana there's nothing I can do <laughs> so yeah guys these, these scammers move very 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 fast so yeah guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please like it comment down below Sus oh subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next week bye